Nick Stangy from uh, Harlem. You got the Harlem Vet Project, and we've talked about this. How many times have you been, you been in to talk about this? I, I'm fascinated every time we get together. I don't know, three, four. Three, four five, times, six, something seven, like that. A couple. I'll check the emails. Yeah. Now, yeah. for people who don't know, let's take it from the ground up. The Harlem Vet Project is what? Uh, we are a class at Harlem High School, and what we do is we um, interview veterans. So veterans come in um, from World War II all the way to the current conflicts. Um, we interview them. We get it on video, and then eventually that will get sent out to the Library of Congress, the Veteran History Project, to archive. But that's really just the beginning for our students because what they do with the interview is they turn it into a documentary. So they take this about 90-minute interview, and then they turn it into about anywhere from a 30, about 20 minutes to about a 50-minute doc. And then so we've interviewed over 200 vets since we've been doing this. We've created over 150 docs. We've actually created some full-length features a couple times where we screened at uh, Biff up in uh, Lloyd, so well, rare, rare received documentaries. Too. Yeah, not just looked at, but yeah. people looked at it and went, "Wow, this is great." Yes, and nobody left in the middle or anything. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm that's really well received. No. <laughs> Time to get popcorn. <laughs> that's yeah. really cool. And uh, how many? Uh, tell me again, how many interviews? We've done over two hundred now. Two hundred of so, them. So yes. How, how long have you been doing it? We've been doing this for about seven years in its current format. What's so. the, What's the difference between seven? What 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 the program was seven years ago and what it is today? Uh, a lot better video quality. Okay. A oh, lot less that's water true. bottles in the shots. Um, <laughs> I have nightmares about water bottles. Um, yeah, the quality's gone up a great deal. We've been very fortunate to work um, with uh, the RVC under MassCom Communications Program with Brian Shelton before. Um, he left to them Jerry Labai the whole time. And they've really helped us increase our production value. Our kids have written grants. Uh, the Community Foundation of Northern Illinois has been very generous with us. We've received money from them from student-written grants um, and fundraising. So the community supported us, which has allowed us to really upgrade our production value. It's really, it's really been amazing. Like what, it, it, it not, not that they're just high school kids, but what uh, these kids are accomplishing. I mean, they're doing really grown-up things right now and learning things. For what they can take advantage of down the line. It's it's been impressive. You've brought in. You didn't bring anybody in today, but whenever you brought the kids in, uh, I've just yeah, been, their level of commitment has always been really, really impressive on this. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, the kids are awesome, and the bond that they create with the veterans. I mean that's the magic of the class. Uh, I was telling Joe before we came on air is you know the kids were at school till seven working on these clips for our Saturday event, um, the gala. And that, that's just what happens all the time. They just stay after. They get so invested. They come in on Saturdays. All the interviews that we conduct are, you know, after school or on the weekends. Um, so the kids really get into it and committed to it. Um, so I, I think sometimes that generation gets a bad rap. But there are kids who care and want to make a difference and I think who truly will make a difference. What have you heard from the veterans themselves, the subjects of the interviews? Uh, they love it. I mean, it means the world to them. They always, like, thank us. Like, where I feel so thankful for them, <laughs> like, they're, like, giving it right back to us as far as the thanks. Um, the coolest thing that we ever did is we screened something at Midway Village, and we had about 10 Vietnam veterans who we interviewed in the room, and they were talking about how much it helped them just from a psychological standpoint. You know, guys who never talked about it to now, all of a sudden he volunteers at the memorial um, out in D.C., um, and goes out there periodically uh, throughout the year. So hearing that really kind of opened in perspective, you know, put it in perspective for me, and that made us feel great because you never know how they're going to respond to right. these mm -hmm. um, very tough stories in a lot of cases. And I would imagine there's probably been some requests that have been, no, I, um, yeah, I, I'm not comfortable. I, 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 just, I don't want to sit down and relive that. Yeah, uh, turning on lights and a video camera in your face is not for everybody. So, oh, and, my dad was a World War II yeah. veteran, and I begged him so many times. I'm like, come on, you know, interview people for a living. This will be fine. Yeah, we get the camera. You just sit in your chair, and I'll just I'll, I'll hit you with some stuff. Nah, I'll get back to you. Well, I'll but, get back to you. Well, honestly, though, I, I think um, that might have been more more difficult for your dad uh, to having to talk to me. If I'd have brought to your Nick son, in or right. one of the students, he may have done it. I but think yeah, doing it with me, he was not a comfortable. Lot easier with a with a stranger sometimes. And I, how how do you get connected with the vets? Is there a, a, a list of guys? That yeah. How do we find the, How do we find our sources here? Uh, a lot of it's word of mouth now, and students become great recruiters. Um, it's hard to say no to grandma and grandpa. I mean, it's hard for grandma and grandpa to say they no to the kid. Um, and then word of mouth, um, we'll probably reach out here this summer. We're looking to interview a lot of female veterans, so we have contacts to some of the different um, organizations.
there, but mainly the last few years, it's just been word of mouth. And a lot of the veterans, you know, they get together on the weekends or in the mornings, they talk, and um, they see what we do um, really helps some guys and ladies, you know, make that final commitment. Um, so, yeah, it's just kind of worked out that way. It originally started with the press release, and uh, we got a lot of response from that. So there are veterans who do want to talk and are willing to share the story, especially the, you know, World War II, Korean Vietnam, because I think they're starting to realize, um, you know, the importance of getting that preserved before it's too late. If you're just joining us, we spend some time with Nick Stangy from Harlem High School, Harlem Veterans Project. Uh, you can go to YouTube, by the way. You guys, your stuff's up on YouTube, isn't yep. it? Yeah, Harlem Veterans Project on YouTube. Um, getting a lot of traffic there. Soon to be 24 new docs put up there next week. Um, wow. So... Yeah, we'll have a lot of good content continue to come along that channel. Is there anything else like this across the country? Anybody else doing projects like this? Is this something you thought of on your own, or did something spark the idea? It originated uh, through the Illinois Veteran and Community Classroom Project. And what happened is the World War II Memorial Board decided they wanted to capture this. So that originated with a grant. Um, we applied for it. We got it. And then there were some schools doing it. There's still, I think, O'Fallon High School down by St. Louis does it, but they do it more as a project in about um, a month or I think like a month. Okay. So what she's doing down there is mind-boggling to me. We spent all year doing it. I can't imagine the stress. Um, as far as a class committed to it, as doing video production at the numbers we are, I think I have not found anything else um, similar to us. There could be some. If there is some, mm -hmm. you know, please give me a call over at Harlem. So I'd be best yeah, again, an idea is an idea that can yeah. be shared. So there's been some teachers who have reached out to me. I've talked to them. So um, I'm not sure where the status is for them. So there are not enough schools doing it. If you got a dollar for every time you've said to yourself, watching some of these documentaries and, and people discussing uh, historical events, I didn't know that. How many dollars did you have sitting in oh front of you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> be dressed a lot nicer. I'll yeah. that much. <laughs> I was going to say, there's got to be a lot of that, especially for the student, but even for you. And sit there. I, I had no idea. Oh, yeah. I, I did not know human beings did that or that that particular event took place. Yeah, it's probably just about every interview you hear something new, um, for sure. And, you know, it could just be, it could be something very, like you said, I can't believe that somebody could do that. To and live like, to tell the tale. Yeah, I can't believe somebody could survive such uh, foolishness. Um, or, <laughs> or like, are you kidding me? You guys did that? You know, um, so, yeah, there's stories. Is, is, there, is there a bunch of uh, maybe stories on the editing floor that were maybe not appropriate for the doc that uh, that are very interesting, but maybe not for public consumption? Oh, yeah. I, oh, you got that. <laughs> oh. I always wanted to do like a, you could probably do like an episode just about like drinking stories. Okay. So. Oh, I always yeah. thought it'd be great to do like a podcast, edit like different <laughs> themes stuff together, but we'll see if that ever happens. Okay. I, it, it's a wonderful project. Uh, you, you show no signs of slowing down. You, you, you don't have an expiration date on this project, do you? No, I mean, we're going to keep doing it as long as Harlem keeps me around. Um, you know, if I don't get fired. Um, I'll, so, talk, I'll talk to you. <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing what we can. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, we're going to continue to do it. I mean, we're coming to the end of the school year here. Um, so this Saturday we're doing uh, what we call the gala at Harlem High School at 4 o'clock. Um, that is open to the public. And what you would see if you attend that is um, basically we're taking the 24 videos and then down to four clips of the highlights, some student speeches. So, you know, great way to start Mother's Day weekend, do a little yard work, cause stop, you know, a little bit early, mm -hmm. come out. Um, we have free Dairy House ice cream afterwards. That, oh, that ought to do it. Should have led with that. Perfect appetizer <laughs> into dinner at 7. You know, you'll be out of there by 7. Right. I don't know why you wouldn't do this. Right. So, <laughs> and you're, you're going to bear witness to some really, really great work. Yes. And then the students are doing the speaking, so you don't have to listen to me. They're okay. a lot better than me. Um, and, yeah, it should be a great evening. Um, and it's free, too. Free Dairy House ice cream.